Over the past couple weeks, we've gotten quite a few reviews out there for you guys to watch. We've gotten two Ryzen 5000 series CPU reviews, as well as a couple different GPU prediction videos because quite frankly, I can't get my hands on these graphics cards to save my life. So I thought in today's video, we would, you know, do a little bit of housekeeping. And one thing that's been on my list is to upgrade and expand my NAS box. Now, fortunately for me, I've teamed up with IcyDoc in this video, and we're gonna be using a couple of their enclosures to go from an eight disc configuration up to an impressive 16 disc configuration while keeping things extra thick and extra dense just the way I like it. And also, we've got a couple other upgrades too. Don't tell my wife. Hey guys, Turk here, hope you're having a great day. If you guys follow me on Twitch, y'all know I love to play games, but there's also a bunch of things I like to do behind the scenes to enhance myself as well as my community's gameplay, and one of those things just happens to be hosting game servers. I've been running a bunch of my different servers off of a trusty Dell R710. If y'all want some more details about that, I've got it in the link at the top right. It's in my Turk Computer Tour of 2019, where I talk about a bunch of the different computers I have in my house. And sure enough, I've been hosting Minecraft, Rust, Counter-Strike Go. If it runs on Linux GSM, pretty sure I've tried it out at least once or twice on my Dell R710. And over the past couple months, I've actually been teaming up with several different streamers, one of which is Endernax, and we are hosting some Minecraft servers that are getting to be pretty popular. They're running uh, MCMMO, Townie, and a whole bunch of other plugins, which are unfortunately just hammering my R710 single-threaded performance. And when we get 20 to 30 people on a single instance at any given time, man, it just brings everything to a screeching halt. So I've been trying to find a replacement server that I can kind of migrate everything onto in order to keep the performance up. Now, if you've also taken a look at that video, I've also got this NAS box that's pretty much overpowered for what it's intended to do. It's running a pretty modern Intel Xenon processor with 32 gigs of DDR4 ECC RAM, and it, sh it seems to be a pretty good candidate for our server migration, but unfortunately, I just can't put all eight of the disks from my Dell R710 into my you know custom NAS box. Now, I've been looking on the internet to see if there's a way I can put these into my enclosure, and I did find one from a company called Norco. This is just pretty much a simple sheet metal enclosure that's able to hold four 15 millimeter, two and a half inch drives, and unfortunately, it's completely passive. There's no cable management, there's no power distribution, and you know, with four to eight drives like I currently have in my NAS box, it's kind of manageable, but going up to 16 drives, there's just no way I'm gonna be able to power all of those drives with single cables, as well as maintaining the rat's nest of cables. So I was looking through the internet and I found a company called IcyDoc. If you haven't heard about them, I've got a link down below so y'all can check out some of the products that they sell. And if you've got a custom enclosure or any particular type of storage device you need to put into your current computer, chances are they've got an enclosure that fits your needs just perfectly. So I was going through the IcyDoc webpage and I actually did find a product that struck my fancy and that is the MB508SP-B. It's able to hold eight two and a half inch drives of five millimeters to 15 millimeters tall and it only takes two five and a quarter inch external bays in order to fit it. Now, this actually fits my requirements just perfectly since I've got 16 drives, so I need two of these enclosures. So sure enough, I sent IcyDoc an email and they were able to provide me with two of these units for evaluation today. And honestly, to just show you guys how awesome their products are and how clean it can make your particular solution be. So the main reason why I'm going with this particular unit from IcyDoc is mainly driven by the types of drives I'm gonna be using in the enclosure. Now, I've been buying all of these drives from some commercial enterprise recyclers locally, and these drives are gonna be two and a half inch drives that are 15 millimeters tall, which unfortunately don't fit in many of the standard enclosures you see on the internet. Now, most laptop hard drives are anywhere between seven millimeters tall and 10 millimeters tall, so, I'm, that five millimeters is forcing me to go into a higher end bracket when it comes to enclosures. 
but also since these are SAS drives, these are rated to spin at 10,000 RPM or higher, and those are gonna actually require some pretty active cooling. My old NAS box actually had no airflow when it comes across my, my disks, so that was unfortunately impacting the potential longevity for my disks, and I had to ramp my chassis fans to 100% just to get some sort of airflow going across. Now, fortunately for us, this IC dock enclosure, the MB508SP-B, it actually comes equipped with an 80 millimeter fan that's controlled by a little switch on there that goes between off, low, and high in order to draw fresh air to actively cool our hard drives, which of course will increase our longevity and hopefully reduce the chances of errors coming across our disks. And also the backplane that's incorporated into this design, it's, it's gonna be able to support all eight of our SAS drives or SATA drives if you go that route. It's gonna be putting all the output to two different mini SAS ports, reducing the amount of cables that I actually need to transfer data. And what's even more impressive is it only takes two SATA power connectors in order to power all four, all eight of these drives which is gonna practically cut my cable count down, which is gonna make it much easier to maintain going forward, as well as just reducing my power requirements across the board. Now, the main downside with this particular unit is of course the price, but you are getting what you paid for. This unit from IC Dock is made from a all metal construction, which is going to increase its rigidity as well as its ruggedness. And speaking of ruggedness, the trays that these drives are going in are compatible with all the different Tough Series enclosures that IC Dock makes. And if you're gonna be putting this into like an enterprise or commercial deployment, these drives can be swapped to all the different enclosures you use. Couple that with the added cooling, the reduced cable complexity, as well as just the clean aesthetics from the build, I'm really impressed with just what IC Dock is able to produce. Now, unfortunately for this whole process, my NAS box is running an old Antec 300 case. It's an oldie, but a goodie, but unfortunately it only has three five and a quarter inch external drive bays, which it just won't fit all these new enclosures that I have. So I went on to Newegg and I was looking for cases that had four or more external five and a quarter inch drive bays. And I did find another Antec case, but it was just boring and it had like 92 millimeter fans on it. It's like, who uses those? So I went ahead and decided to splurge. We went with the Fantex Intho Primo case. Uh, we got it right here behind us. Now for me, this has five external five and a quarter inch drive bays, which is perfect for our solution. But guys, this thing is a full-size tower. It's got, I don't even remember how many internal three and a half inch drive bays. I'll put a bunch of the details down below, but this thing is just completely overkill for what I need it today. By having all this extra storage space, we're gonna have so much more extra room for activities. And let's go see what this looks like inside of our case. All right, so here we go. We've got our Adaptic RAID controller here. We've got all four of the ports plugged in. So that's a total of 16 drives. One thing I'm not a fan of is this Adaptic controller is getting incredibly hot. We've actually had it air on us a couple times. So I did move uh, one of these uh, 140 millimeter fans up down to the bottom here to hopefully get some more air across here. It hasn't aired out on me lately since. And then we've got, of course, our cheapo Gamex Deep Cool for our Xenon processor, rocking the Gigabyte G1. So here we have the star of our show. These are the different IC Dock boxes. 
And what you'll notice there is we've actually only got the four different power connectors. I did have to use two different strands, but they're so much more manageable. I can actually get my hands in there and uh, unplug and plug things as I need. And then if I can get even tighter in here, those little cables on the right, those are the, uh, the mini SAS connectors over on the right. So there's a total of four of them. So like I said, guys, this is super tidy. The fans are easy to get there. And I can even actually, we can pop open the top here on this case, which is really nice. I can actually go in and change the fans by uh, flipping the switch here on the right. If in case I want to turn them up or turn them down or whatever. I have noticed that when I turn it to the medium setting, it's not too bad, but when I do turn it to high, we do get a lot better airflow, but it does get really loud. And another thing I'm not a fan of on this case is on the front here, uh, you'll see that there's just no gap for air right there for these fans. So I might end up taking this door off for now, but uh, overall it's really clean. Oh yeah, let's take a look here. Look at all those bays. Those are all for three and a half inch storage drives. We might have to expand a little more here as we go through the server. I did also install a uh, 10 gigabit NIC in here just in case we want to upgrade our network anytime soon. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my new NAS box. It's got 16 drives. I think we're close to right around 12 terabytes. We've got four drives of parity, thanks to FreeNAS with their uh, ZFS2 setup we got for RAID. Uh, but guys, I'm really proud of this setup. It's gonna last me quite a while and it's got plenty of room to grow in case we wanna throw some bigger drives. So special thanks to IC Doc for providing those enclosure for us. And guys, I'm gonna put some links down below. This is not a sponsored video. I don't get any kickbacks from the links, but I really do think these IC Doc uh, enclosures are worth the look in case you're wanting to build your own custom NAS box. But guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you all have a great night, but we'll be back with more shadow hopefully get ourselves a 6800 XT for review. So thanks for watching the video. Take care guys.